Hi guys, Fly Girl VSG coming into you with my week 79 post op VSG um, vertical sleeve gastrectomy update. I had surgery December 5th, 2013 with Dr. J. Jan at Legacy Good Samaritan Hospital. Um, I'm just going to jump right in. I have a really short update for you guys. So um, I started a two week pre op diet at 301.2. I weighed in day of surgery at 291.8. I weighed in last week at 186.6. I weighed in this morning at 188.2 for a gain of 1.6 pounds, um, total loss of 113 pounds. So I'm basically down one pound since um, the cortisone shot. Um, obviously, I wasn't expecting that much of a gain, but I was expecting a gain just based on the weekend. Um, it was Waffle Palooza weekend. Lauren losing came in um, to town late Thursday night. We didn't do anything Thursday night. We pretty much just went to bed, but. Um, Friday, we went wine tasting and Dundee, so that was really fun. Got to show her a little bit of the area. Um, Saturday, of course, we had a bunch of people over for brunch. Um, I made Bloody Marys. I did not drink Bloody Marys, but I made them at a big breakfast for um, the Mahoney's, and Sandra was here, and Lauren, of course, and Christina. I feel like I'm forgetting somebody. I think that's pretty much it. Kent, my boyfriend. Um, and then, of course, Saturday was Waffle Palooza, and I had several drinks, not a lot, like I wasn't wasted or anything, certainly not as bad as the meet and greet that I went to in October where I had that massive hangover, and not as bad as the weekend after Christmas. Those were the two epic drunk weekends of the, of the last uh, 12 months for sure. But I had brought, you know, I had, I had like four blender bottles with stuff, you know, vodka and water and um, stuff, so... And I kind of just ate whatever I wanted and made, made a nice breakfast for everybody Sunday morning at the Waffles house because we all stayed over and uh, just kind of a thank you for letting us invade their their house and their space. Um, and then Sunday after breakfast, um, I took Sandra to the airport. We kind of just came back here and relaxed, took Sandra to the airport. Um, Lauren took a nap and then Sunday night, what did we do Sunday night? Oh, you know what we did? We just watched, um, we stayed up late. Uh, watching, um, not too late though. Um, we just drank like some wine in the backyard and I made some leftover like casserole that I had and we drank a bunch of wine and watched, uh, talked and listened to music and ended up watching a, a Steve Martin film called The Man with Two Brains, which is amazing. I love it. Uh, very silly and goofy and I love it. So we watched that and ate popcorn and went to bed at like, you know, like 1130 or something. So then Monday, um, we ended up driving out. We kind of just slept in and did whatever. I had to work a little bit. And uh, then Monday we went out uh, Old Columbia Highway and saw a bunch of um, waterfalls. And that was super fun. And um, then I, we went out to Hood River and did some wine beer and beer tasting and had pizza. And so it was it was a great day. Um, it was a long weekend, though. I mean, I, was, I think I'm just now starting to feel um, normal. Uh, other things that happened this week that were good. Um, I went hiking yesterday and that really made me feel amazing. I've been hiking pretty much once a week for the last, like, I think three weeks. Um, since I didn't get to go last weekend with all the festivities going on, I got to go yesterday after work and it was a great experience. So, um, I have to do more of that this summer, definitely weekends and weekdays, but, um, we'll see a little bit of everything. Um, I think I'm up to about three miles. Um, Still feels really long to me, you know, but I could have done more, but I didn't bring my knee brace because I forgot it, and I did, I could have done another little bit, but the other second half of the hike that we went to was another three miles, and it was like this, all the way up and then all the way down. So, I was like, meh, you know, without a knee brace, probably not. Oh, I'm tired. Ugh. Kent and I are, uh, my boyfriend and I are spending the night at Edgefield tonight, um, so just as like a little romantic getaway, you know, having people at the house and being really busy. I actually haven't spent any time with him. So we're just going to go and we're going to eat and drink. And um, they have a soaking pool and a movie theater. And we're going to play. They have like a three-hole little golf course tomorrow, like a nine-hole golf course. But it's like just three hits. You know, you're supposed to just be like they give you a putter and they give you like a small wedge. That's it. Um, so that'll be fun. You know, just to do the course will be a really nice day. It's not too hot here, um, so it'll be great. So we're going to spend some time together, and um, this weekend is very, very busy. Saturday, I've got three parties to go to between 8.30 and 9, 8.30 in the morning and 9 p.m. I'm not going to be at any of them at 8.30 in the morning, but throughout the day, I've got to go and bring food and flowers and cards and blah, 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 blah. So it's going to be very, very, very busy Saturday. And then Sunday, 
is Lake Day with my friend, so, um, Gemma. So that'll be fun, just the two of us. Um, we haven't spent much time together this year, especially not, um, alone, so it'll be good for us to reconnect and hang out. Um, I'm so tired. I, my neighbors are talking to each other, so I'm just like, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> um, what else? Oh, so, um, my friend Jolene, who I went hiking with yesterday, took this photo of me, and, uh, my boyfriend cannot get enough of it. He wants to, like, put it all over the house, like, he loves it so much, which is so sweet. He also saw somebody at Waffle Palooza that has, um, uh, had had arm lift, and doesn't want me to get it now, but he knows what the scar looks like. And I'm like, uh, I really, I mean, I know, I get it, I get it. The biggest, hardest part for me about the arm lift is the scar, because it's really dramatic. Um, the only thing more dramatic than that is the 360 in terms of like, but the 360 you can hide, you know, the arm lift you cannot. So yeah, that's really all I have to talk about today. Honestly, like, um, I guess if you guys didn't hear it last week, I was subtle about it, but my big secret that I was talking, vague booking about a couple weeks ago was that, um, I am going to be doing a beach body challenge in August. Um, so I'll be selling challenge packs and I think I put a notification out yesterday though about a big sale, um, they're having right now. Um, so if you, if you go, um, and buy the video that I'm going to be doing the challenge on, um, then that, and that'll be a good way to change, save money, of course. Uh, I think I'm only going to allow like 15 people in the group just because I want to make it personal. <sighs> oh my God, you guys, I'm so sorry. Are you sleeping with me now? I know, my, my, I'm getting my voice back, but I need to get some caffeine. I think I'll take some body fat. <laughs> uh. Life is good. I'm happy. I need to get out of the 180s, but, you know, like, so I will say this. At Waffle Palooza, some photos were taken and some videos, and all I could think of was fucking how fat my thighs were. Like, how fat my thighs and ass were. But I'm saw those pictures that my friend took of me last night on the hike and all I could see was strength. Um, my eating is certainly not on point. Most, I mean, honestly, most of this year, like I do really good all day and late afternoon and evening, I kind of blow it or I do really good for four or five days. And then, I mean, I hate looking at it as good and bad. There's got to be balance, right? But I could certainly do better. Um, I'm not terrible. Um, I'm kind of over my macaroni and cheese phase, which is helpful. Um, but I, I could be better. So with that said, um, I'm looking forward to Kent and I giving up, uh, alcohol in July and doing the cleanse uh, and the Brazilian butt lift challenge group in August because, um, the challenge group I started, uh, for Pio at June 1st is not challenging enough for me. It's actually really good for some things. I have been meaning to add yoga back into my life and it allows me to do that. And I have noticed a little bit of soreness. So it's definitely working muscles. I didn't know it was working at the time. So that's good. But, um, it's not going to build enough strength for me. Um, and of course there's no, really, it's not enough cardio. So it's, it's a good thing. I'm not disappointed about it at all. Um, but I'm looking, I, I will be looking forward to the next challenge where I can kind of, um, add in a little bit more, oomph. Um, and the Brazilian butt lift, I know certainly does that. Cause the one time I did one of the, um, on like one of the lower body, um, strength ones, I couldn't walk for days, which is like, I mean, I love that. <laughs> like it's a love hate relationship with that kind of thing. But anyway, um, I'm just blabbing at this point. I'm de-energized. I need to go get some caffeine. Kent, Kent and I are both super worn out today. So I think we're just going to have a lazy night at the Edgefield and, um, soak in the pool and, and, uh, tomorrow I'll play some, some little go mini golf thing. So it'll be fun. I'm repeating myself. Ah. Um, so I will post something on Facebook probably come the end of June about the, um, challenge in August for how many slots are left. I think there's already like four or five or six people that are going to join. So that's about half the slots, um, that I'm going to have open. So we'll see. And then, yeah, it'll be super, super fun though. I'm really excited. I think it'll be a really good experience for me to try to coach, um, a group, um, just in terms of some of my long-term goals in, um, wanting to do personal training. So that's where I'm coming from with this. Um, I hope you guys are having a great week. If you were at Waffle Palooza, I was so happy to see you. I love you so much. 
um, it just re reconfirmed all of my love for these people. And, um, I just, I feel so grateful to be a member of this community and have your support and, um, to be able to lend mine as well. So, all right, you guys have a super great weekend. Mwah! Keep it fly out there.